Hello everyone, a very good afternoon. Welcome to Reflections IAS Academy. We have started with the T Jagruti session, a daily answer writing program for TSPSC group on mains examination. This is the fourth day of daily answer writing. Daily we are giving three questions and students are giving a very good response. Most of you are uh, writing your answers on time and uploading on the Telegram group. But once again, I would highly recommend you to attend the offline session of taking the, giving the examination because it will give you more realistic experience as far as the examination is concerned. So yesterday we have started with the Kakatiya period, the medieval period of Telangana, the emergence of composite culture. We have elaborately talked about the art, architecture and literature during the Kakatiya period, the social conditions during the Kakatiya period, etc. Online students, can you please uh, tell me, am I audible? Are there any technical issues? Please tell me right now so that, yeah. Okay, fine. Kakatiya period not only witnessed advancements in the field of art, literature, temple architecture, etc., but Kakatiya period also saw very good, very uh, splendid advancements in the field of music and dance as well. One such advancement is in the form of the Perini dance, or also called as Perini Shiva Tandavam dance. What is this dance? This is basically a warrior dance. It's also called as a warrior dance in which the charged Virashaivas, they perform a recital of dance in front of Lord Shiva, idol of Lord Shiva, before they leave for the war. This, of course, it depicts the military discipline of Kakatiya also. Because when they are going for any military conquest, when they are set to go for any military conquest, this particular dance form and its uh, characteristics, it depicts the seriousness of the Kakatiyas in uh, the expansion of their empire and to motivate their soldiers to perform well in the war. That means this also throws light on the administrative expansion uh, aspirations of the Kakatiya rulers at that time, as they were very much valorous and very much successful in their expansion of uh, uh, empire as well. So this is an administrative and military aspect. But more importantly, most importantly for examination, what do we require is its cultural significance. Perini Shiva Tandavam dance has added a very rich heritage to the region that is the Telangana region in the medieval times, which is still continuing to have a profound impact even till today in the contemporary society in the Telangana as well. So first question we have, uh, uh, we will start with the first question of today. That is Perini Shiva Tandavam depicts the magnificence of Kakatiyas in the field of dance. Examine. Examiner will be very much interested in giving questions on music, dance, and literature. Because of the previous year question papers, if you see the UPSC, UPSC also asked multiple times about uh, questions about this dance, music, and literature in the past. So hoping that TSPSC group one will also be conducted on the same lines, I have given some questions which are really important for UPSC as well. So Perini Shiva Tandavam, this is an ancient dance form. How to start this uh, question, uh, answer for this question? Introduction. Then Ninna Miku Chepanu, introduction low, you can write the, whatever the architecture, literature, the introduction on those, same miru cut paste chani. But for this Perini Shiva Tandavam dance, for this question, I have seen most of you have started the introduction like that, like yesterday. Uh, all, uh, for all questions, you need not write the introduction like that. It's not a hard and fast rule to write the introduction like that. Ikada specific dance form name we have mentioned in the question. I have mentioned a specific name in the question. 
I, uh, the question is not asking about the overall developments in the field of dance and music, right? Atla ite mere ninna introduction use jaise to download dance and add cheyo chhu. But din lo entertain you have to be more specific about the perini dance because explicitly in the question it is mentioned that uh, to describe about the perini dance. So you can start the answer like this. Perini uh, Shiva Tandavam is an ancient. Uh, dance form of uh, telangana and this has this was originated during the kakatiya period in the telangana region and we'll start the introduction this is tantarvata to add to more points to add more points to this this is this dance is also called as dance of warriors as we have discussed because before leaving to the war this dance is performed by the charged soldiers in order to inspire their fellow soldiers to perform well in the war basically the name itself depicts that perini is derived from the word prerana prerana is nothing but inspiration okay so this dance is basically performed to drive inspiration and also to give inspiration to the fellow soldiers who are just set up to uh, go to the battlefield so Admir Rayachu Dan Tarvata, now we are providing an authentic reference to this. The Perini dance undi, but according to what? Is an inscription on the than a literature work on There is a literature work called Nritya Ratnavali, composed by Jayapasenani, who was the commander of Ganpati Deva. So this Nritya Ratnavali contains detailed information of the Perini dance. And the dance sculpture, Evete Nritya Ratnavali lo, dance sculptures, dance poses mentioned Che Budunayo, the same dance sculptures are intricately carved on the Ramapa temple pillars. So Adiguda America mentioned Jeyachu. And of course, he dance Kakatiya period lo, it has reached its zenith, or it has reached its climax, or it has reached its Pinnacle, then I would use the Zenith, Pinnacle, Climax, etc. Okay, so this is, as we have discussed, it invokes Prerana and it is performed in front of the idol of Lord Shiva. And uh, this is a very vigorous dance form. This is not a silent and calm dance form. It's a vigorous and aggressive form of dance form with, even it includes the music also, like drums are bet the beating of drums and on the beats of the drums the dancers they perform usually it is performed by males usually the virashaiva sect males and this is not a solo dance it is performed by a group of soldiers or virashaivas that's why it is a group dance it's not a uh, solo dance and perini Shiva Tandavam after, uh, you know, after the Kakatiya period, slowly it started declining. And also in the modern society, it was, it was almost non-existent or it was, uh, you know, on the verge of extinction at that time. But in the early, in the, in the 90s and 2000s, because of the pioneering work of Nataraja Ramakrishna, Padma Shri Nataraja Ramakrishna, the dance was revived and right now it is once again once again it is going to become one of the most popular dance forms of the region the telangana region okay so the name of nataraja ramakrishna padmashri nataraja ramakrishna is also worth mentioning in your answer these names will add very good potential to your answer to score more so even in rasar gavati you can conclude it by saying that Thus, Perini Shiva Tandavam depicts the brilliance and splendor of Kakatiyas in the field of dance, which has profound impact till today. This is the first answer. If somebody is having any questions regarding this first, first, first question and answer, please do comment in the com uh, comment box, online students. Any doubts do you have, um, online students? Yes, please, offline also. 
ఏమైనా అడిగేది ఉందా ఎవరికైనా అఖిల్ కే ఈస్ సేయింగ్ దట్ యా క్లాసికల్ డాన్స్ ఆఫ్ తెలంగాణ యూ కెన్ సే బట్ యూజువల్లీ ఇఫ్ యూ సీ ద ఓకే ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు రిలేట్ ఇట్ విత్ ద ఇండియన్ హిస్టరీ అండ్ కల్చర్ క్లాసికల్ డాన్సెస్ క్లాసికల్ డాన్సెస్ ఆర్ రికగ్నైజ్ బై హూమ్ గవర్నమెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా సాహిత్య నాటక్ అకాడమీ సాహిత్య అకాడమీ ఆర్ సాహిత్య నాటక్ అకాడమీ ఒక ఇట్ రికగ్నైజెస్ విచ్ డాన్స్ ఈస్ క్లాసికల్ విచ్ డాన్స్ ఈస్ నాట్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ సర్టన్ క్రైటీరియా ఎ డాన్స్ హ్యాస్ టు మీట్ దట్ క్రైటీరియా ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ టు బి రికగ్నైజ్ యాజ్ ద క్లాసికల్ డాన్స్ ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా రైట్ నో దెర్ ఆర్ హౌ మెనీ క్లాసికల్ డాన్స్ ఫార్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా ఎయిట్ ఎయిట్ డాన్స్ ఫార్మ్స్ దెర్ ఈస్ భరతనాట్యం కూచిపూడి మణిపురి ఒడిస్సి కథక్ కథకళి సత్రియా డాన్స్ ఆఫ్ అస్సాం ఎక్సెట్రా ఓకే సో దిస్ ఈస్ అబౌట్ ద రిలవెన్స్ విత్ ఇండియన్ ఆర్ట్ అండ్ కల్చర్ యూజువలీ ఇన్ యువర్ ఇన్ అవర్ ఇండియన్ హిస్టరీ పోర్షన్ ఆల్సో ఇన్ ఇన్ ఫర్ ఫర్ గ్రూప్ వన్ సిలబస్ ఆర్ట్ ఆర్కిటెక్చర్ లిటరేచర్ ఎక్సెట్రా ఈస్ మెన్షన్ so you might expect any dance form also in the indian history uh, portion but usually dance form even for even in our indian history portion also they might focus on this particular perini shivatandavam because it is of course of course it is a very rich heritage art form of telangana any doubts anybody else in the online okay harit is saying that sir for the first two questions of today we don't have ready made notes in telugu academy or class notes should we depend upon wiki or or uh, there any sources harit i have worked hard and i have seen uh, different sources i have uh, referred to multiple sources online and offline and i have talked to some professors also regarding this and i have prepared a model answer accordingly so mostly mostly the model answer should be fine uh still if we, if i find any other sources regarding this uh, i will write it down and i will try to uh, post it in the group but for this question i don't think you need to write more than this and the can take for us only okay clear let's move on to the next second question of today what is uh, how did you find the second question of today was it a shocker surpriser or uh, was it expected for you how many of you expected this question nobody expected online anybody please anyone did you expect this question second question anyone guess this question sorry acha acha okay okay definitely a shocker sir no sir complete bouncer okay 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 see the, that that's why i have given this question because ramappa temple thousand pillar temple swayambhu shambhu temple shambhu temple bhadrakali temple all these temples are very much uh, popular familiar and people also know about this so i thought to give some uh you know out of the stock question because to ensure that you will not miss some other temples because chala temples unnai for example there is panagallu temple also panagal nalgonda district chaya someshwara temple antar dan there is there is one sun temple also in telangana you know in adilabad district one temple called jainath uh, temple is there jainath temple it's a sun temple okay there are many temples but kakatiya period kavati i have given this pillalamari temple so pillalamari temple this is not just a temple it's a temple complex temple complex antaru etla naithe manaku ramappa ante palampeta temple complex undi kada there is palampet temple complex ramappa is a part of palampet temple complex chaala temples unnai akkada so similarly pillalamari is not just a temple it's a temple complex a congregation of temples so deenki meeru so question the temple complex at pillalamari 
stands testimony to the architectural craftsmanship displayed by the Kakatiya rulers. Comment. So you can start the introduction for this. Don't start the introduction for this by uh, yesterday's introduction. Kakatiya rulers rule from uh, 12th to 14th century, etc., etc. Because we have specifically once again mentioned about the Pilalamari temple complex. Specific mention on the Kada. So that's why you can start the introduction with directly with the temple itself. So Pilalamari temple complex, it is located in Suryapet district, the present Suryapet district of Telangana. And Deen Lo, temple complex, ante, there is Erekeshwara temple, Nameshwara temple, basically two main temples. So Erekeshwara temple is uh, one of the prominent temple in which uh, it contains intricately carved stone and granite temples and uh, other three, other three ain't Parvati Mahadeva, Nameshwara Temple, and Trikuteshwara Temple, second one. And uh, third one is Chennakeshwara Temple. The first three, Erakeshwara, Parvati Mahadeva, and Nameshwara Temple. The first three temples, these are basically Shiva temples. The fourth one, Chennakeshwara Temple, it is dedicated to Lord Vishnu. And they're all from 12th and 13th century period. And basically this... The temples at this temple complex were built by, once again, the generals of Kakatiyas, Recharla Rudra's family. It was built by Eraka Sani. She was the wife of Beti Reddy. They belong to the Recharla family. Recharla Rudra, you know, who has built the Thousand Pillar Temple. While the family Chandana 20, Eraka Sani, uh, uh, wife of Beti Reddy, she has built this. Pillalamari temple and it was built on the banks of river Musi and it also houses beautifully carved pillars and walls which are uh, which contain intricate sculpture and poetry paintings etc on the walls of this temple many things are there and also a grand and regal Nandi statue also can be seen in this temple and there are some prominent stone inscriptions in Telugu, which talk about the history of the Pillalamari temple. For example, one of the stone inscription, it dates back to 1195 AD, and it mentions about the rule of Prataparudra I. And there is one more stone inscription of 1208 AD. It makes a reference to the reign of, it also makes reference to a reign of Ganapati Deva. So, in the inscription, you mentioned just now, these inscriptions, they depict that. They prove that this temple belongs to Kakatiya period. Okay. So, and also the architectural style of Ramapa temple architectural style, this, this Pillalamari temple architecture is very close to the Ramapa style of temple architecture. Because of course, it is built by Recharla, Recharla's family. So, they might have been familiar with this kind of architecture. And this is about the description of this uh, temple. Uh, it has got three porticos in the east, north, and south. And Garbhalaya of this sanctum sanctorum or Garbhagudi or Garbhalaya is in the western side. And the Shikara, uh, which is on the inner sanctum or Garbhagudi, it is made up of completely made up of brick and lime. And it is decorated by miniature chariots. Uh, so these are, these are the details, the architectural details. If exactly it lane mention Jala name Ledu, me own words of Buddha, Miru mention Jechu. So, hence, thus, the detailing in the architecture of Pillalamari temple complex is definitely an indication of the touch of excellence which the craftsmanship of Kakatiyas have been proved. So, this also uh, had an uh, impact on the Telangana art and architecture at that time. Do you have any queries or doubts in this question? Second. Online students, please. Am I clear? Good question. Akhil is asking, sir, when we don't know anything about the temple, can we manage it by mentioning major temple features or Kakatiya times? Okay, but it should have at least one or two lines of uh, relevance to that particular temple. If you're writing the features, it should match with the features of the temple, then you might get marks. 
If it is not matching with the features of the temple, you might not get marks. It is simple. Yes, yes. If you don't know, definitely you don't Don't leave, uh, you know, empty space for any question. But don't try to write blunders or don't try to cheat the examiner. Okay. Because examiner gets severely disappointed or hurted if you try to bluff. You should be somewhat honest. Don't bluff. That means you can write, but don't write completely relevant points. Like, for example, Akhil is saying like Toranas, Nandi statues, uh, Jali works, etc. Yes, because these are somewhat uh, related to the temple, right? Temple architecture. So you can write. If you don't know, you can write. Please post the model answer copy prior to the start of live session. Okay. Okay, you want the PDF. Okay, okay, fine, fine. We will try to, actually, we need to prepare also, we need to give it to the technical team and we have to send it to the DTP and uh, for editing and all. So that way, that, that's why it takes some time, but I will try to post before. Can we mention about bunny entry, sir? This, see, don't get confused with Pillalamari of Surya Pet and Pillalamari of Mahbub Nagar uh, district. Pillalamari tree is different. There, that is different, and this Pillalamari temple complex is different. Don't get confused. Okay. Okay. So I will read some uh, answer written by one one of our T Jagruti students. See, Akil has asked this question. Aim the Rayachani. For example, I will read out what one student has written. Kakatiya rulers uh, had a unique architectural craftsmanship uh, that can be displayed through the temple complex at Pillala Marine, Nalgonda. Okay. So, this, this candidate, this student, uh, don't have the exact idea where it is, but somehow he related. Somehow, okay. Erstwile Nalgonda. Erstwile Nikad Rale, you can Nalgonda the Garundan Telsu. Kabati, this might not. You know, Kaliga Vadle Se Badalu, you can uh, write something about this. This might not uh, impact too much on your answer. So you can write. So he's saying that temple complex at Pilalamari in Nalgonda district has temples like Nameshwara temple, Erekeshwara temple. Okay. So Nameshwara, Erekeshwara, Ikad Ochindi. Kabati, this now, now I'm getting some, you know, positive impression on this paper. First, I, I got a bit disappointed. And the Gonde, Surya Pet Rile Kabati. But now, I am getting somewhat, you know, a hope that this person knows. Yes, Sarakeshwara, Nameshwara. These temples are Lord Shiva temple. The, okay. Lord Shiva temple. So again, once again, Nakikade Mardamendi. So he has 50% information or knowledge about this. Because three temples are dedicated to Lord Shiva, and there is one temple of Lord Vishnu also, that is Chanakeshwara temple, dedicated to Lord Vishnu. And these temples are built in Vesara style of architecture which is the amalgamation of Nagara and Dravada style and Rasa. Okay, Vesara style, Rasa, okay. But it will it would be more appropriate if you write Trikuta style. Trikuta style because Trikuta style is the, the more specific term when it comes to the Kakatiya architecture. And temples were built on uh, elevated platforms, etc. The temples have Garbagudi. So, he has tried to Mention the generic features of the temple architecture. Okay. So, it could end the rather than leaving the space for that answer, leaving it completely, he has tried to include some his known points in a in a in an articulated fashion. So, it could conclusion name Rasha and thus the temple complex at Pilalamari stands testimony to the architectural craft, craftsmanship uh, displayed by the Kakatiyas. And applying these temples for the world heritage sites of UNESCO and um, preserving them for the future generations, um, not to, uh, you know, I don't know what he has written. There is some lack of clarity here. Okay. Conclusion, so conclusion in Koncham better Rasa, he will get good marks. This person will get good marks. Okay. I think, uh, Harith. Harith, you have attempted, uh, it was a good attempt, even though you don't have complete idea about this question, you have tried to attempt it well. So, try to improve it in the next. 
session. Next, next question. Okay, online students, are you having any queries or doubts? Please. This is mostly about the Kakatiyas, art, literature, architecture, etc. Okay. And this is not everything about Kakatiyas. Kakatiyas Whatever possible, how much ever possible, whatever the important aspects I can cover and I can give, still you, you might expect anything new in the examination. Surprise calls now, some But now, I think now you are understanding, you are able to understand, okay, well, completely new question of China Buddha, how to manage that somehow. Okay. So let's start with this third question of this today. Before this, so as we have discussed about the Kakati as the medieval uh, period in Telangana or elsewhere in India, the emergence of composite culture in the 11th and 12th century. The emergence of composite culture elsewhere in India and also in Telangana, it started during the 12th century with the advent of Delhi Sultans, uh, with, the, with the establishment of Delhi Sultans in Delhi and North India region. And later on, this composite culture spread to the, even to the Telangana region also. And after that, there was mostly, you know, Vijayanagara Empire in the Andhra Desha or Telugu speaking areas. And after that, Bahamani Sultanate was there. After the decline of Bahamani Sultanate, the Telangana saw a very important, uh, you know, happening, a very important, crucial phase in the history of India. That is the reign of the rule of Qutub Shahis has started. The composite culture, which was slowly starting during the Kakatiya period, it has gained more impetus. It has gained more potential and it reached to its maximum during, to its almost climax during the Qutub Shahi period. And so this Qutub Shahi period, this is basically which century? In the 16th century. So elsewhere in India, if you compare, what's, what was happening in the 16th century? 16th century, yeah. A very important turning point in the Indian history, that is the first battle of Panipat. The Lodi dynasty was there, the Delhi Sultan, Sultanate last dynasty. The Lodi dynasty was ruling over Delhi region or most of the North India region. During the early 16th century, Ibrahim Lodi got defeated by Babur and Babur has established the sovereign, suzerain empire of Mughal dynasty in India. Okay. During the same time, what's happening? What was happening in Telangana? Telangana lo im jaru. So in the year 1518, 1518, Sultan Kuli, Sultan Kuli Kutub, basically his ancestors or he was from Hamadam province or Hamadan province of Iran, Persia. Persia anunchi ucha. They have migrated to Persia. Basically, they first, initially they were exploring the North India region, but for some obvious reasons, they migrated to South India. Initially, they were working under, they were working under, as Kakatiyas were the feudatories of uh, Rashtrakutas and Chalukyas. Initially, Kutub Shahis were working under the Bahamani Sultanates. Okay, so Sultan Kuli or Sultan Kuli Kutub Shah, he has established the Kutub Shahi reign in the Golconda region, or it is also called Golconda Empire in the Hyderabad region or the, in the Telangana during the 16th century, that is uh, 1518. And there are many rulers, there are seven or eight rulers, eight full time rulers, one part time ruler was there. If you want to read out the names, I will read out, but I don't think uh, you can read it by yourself, I guess. The, uh, it is basically established by Sultan Kuli or Sultan Kuli Kutub Shah. And after that, Jamshid Kuli Kutub Shah. After that, Subhan Kuli Kutub Shah. After that, Ibrahim Kuli Kutub Shah. After him, Sultan Muhammad Kutub Shah. And after him, Abdullah Kutub Shah. And the last was Abul Hassan Tanasha or Tanisha. So they ruled from 1518 to 1687 AD. 1518 to 1687 after Aurangzeb has captured the Golconda Fort in 
1687 AD. See the interesting fact here. It started, Qutub Shahi reign started when Mughal rule started. It ended during the reign of last Mughal ruler, that is Aurangzeb. After Aurangzeb also, Mughals were there, but they were called later Mughals. They were not efficient when it comes to administration. That's why we consider Aurangzeb as the last great, uh, uh, prom I mean, last important uh, Mughal ruler, right? So interesting thing is Qutub Shahi started with the Mughal, ended with the Mughal. Started during the first battle of Panipat and ended at the time of, during the time of Aurangzeb. This is for your reference of Indian history, chronology, interlinking, etc. with Indian history. This will make uh, your process, your history revision more easier. So first question, Ekada. Examine the social and religious dynamics of the people in Telangana during the Qutub Shahi era. Social and religious dynamics. What did you understand by this question? Anyone, please tell me. What did you understand by this social and religious dynamics? Chapandi. It is nothing but society at the society low religion at the caste at the Woman position at Laonde, the Ivani Mirayan. Social conditions, nothing but the society, religion, worship, caste, festivals, etc. Okay, as a harmony unda leda. Okay, coming to harmony, the spirit of tolerance, the spirit of pluralism, the spirit of multicultural exchange, the spirit of coexistence with each other. The, the popular term of Ganga Jamni Tezib, which we use till today for our, uh, to refer to our Telangana culture. It basically, the seeds of this were, these were laid during the Qutub Shahi reign. Because having migrated from Persia to India, they have adopted some of the cultural practices of India. Although they were the rulers, most of them, they tried to accept the religious rituals of the Hindu population here also. They have adopted the Telugu language also. There are many other things. So the concept of secularism, what do we call, which is most debated today, it actually, uh, the seeds of secularism, the seeds of fraternity, brotherhood, what do we talk today in the modern democratic uh, terms, the seeds were laid during the Qutub Shahi reign in Telangana. Ipudevate Manamo, democratic values Gurinche Matlar Tunamo, fraternity Gani, tolerance Gani, pluralism Gani, okay, liberty Gani, Leda, secularism Gani, Leda, equality in matters of worship Gauchu, opportunities of equal opportunities for worship Gauchu, religious freedom Gauchu, all these things you can, you can relate that, you can find that from historical evidence, you can find that this, the seeds of this very values of democracy has been laid during the Qutub Shahi reign, the Qutub Shahi period in Telangana. So you can start the introduction like this by, okay, Ikkada manam overall religious dynamics, social dynamics of, during the Qutub Shahi and Adiginam Gavati. You can write a generic introduction also, like Etla Naite Manam Kakatiyas ruled from 12th to 14th century Rashnamo Ikkada. Kutub Shahi Dantlo Manam, you can start the introduction. Kutub Shahi dynasty ruled Telangana from uh, 16th to 17th centuries. Uh, that is over 200 per year period of rule. And this period saw significant changes in the social and religious dynamics of the people living in the region. And during this era, the region was characterized by a diverse mix of religious and cultural traditions, including Hinduism, Islam, and various local local sects so ikkada manam introduce jesham next ippudu manam entante ikkada we are giving references okay manam cheptunam but we should have references kutub shahi period vache sariki archaeologically gaakunda inscriptions maatrame kaakunda we have got uh, multiple literary sources also literary sources for example tarike farista tarike kutub shahi burhane masir etc. Ivaita Persian uh, low nai references. And foreign travelers were also there. Thivnot visited the 
Qutub Shahi Empire, Thivinot, traveler named Thivinot, and also Francois Bernier, okay. uh, Tavernier, sorry, Tavernier visited at that time. So, Vilu visit Chesi, they have also given an account of Qutub Shahi rule in the Golconda region or the Hyderabad region. Ibi Gakunda, Tapati Samaro Pakhyanam. Tapati Samaro Pakhyanam was written by whom? We should know this. Yayati Charitam, Vajayanti Vilasam. You know Addanki Gangadhara Kavi? Addanki Gangadhara Kavi Evivaita Rasha. So tomorrow we'll come to uh, the more details about the literature of Kutub Shahi period. Here I have just mentioned. Tomorrow I will explain you in detail about all these things. Literature, tomorrow I will explain, okay? And one more book called Sukha Saptati. Sukha Saptati Gudaundi. Who has written this? Sukha Saptati. You should know this. There is one more literature work, Sukha Saptati. This was compiled by Palavekari Kadripati. Okay, this contains a detailed account of Idenduk mentioned Jal Sochinante. This Sukha Saptati contains a detailed account of social conditions and also the religious life of the people of Telangana living during that time. And this book also mentions about the dressing, food habits, houses, marriages, and lifestyles of different sections of the society during Kutub Shahi period. Okay, we have given an authentic reference to substantiate our answer. So this will add more impetus and more value to our answer. And we have a caste socio-religious life, social conditions. We can mention about caste also. So many sub-castes have emerged in the Telangana region during this period. For example, Kapu, Reddy, Velama, Balija, Carpenters, Gauchu, Weavers, Blacksmiths, Potterman, Tailors, Boya, Fisherman, Washerman, Barbers, all these, all these sections of society, all these subsections, sub-castes, they have emerged during the, they have evolved and emerged during the Kutub Shahi period in Telangana. And also, of course, uh, religious conditions question or demand on the gravity. We can also mention about the religious tolerance quality of Kutub Shahi rulers. And if be positives, negatives could on negatives and social evils. The prominence of social evils rose during this period. For example, child marriages, polygamy, orthodoxy. Both Hindus and Muslims, they developed more orthodoxy during that period. Dowry system, Sati system, all these social evils were prevalent in the society and were dominant in the society. And the condition of women was also not great as compared to the modern period, of course. And as per Yeyati Charitam, Ponnaganti Telangana Arya, Rasna Yeyati Charitam Lo, the condition of women was described in detail. So once again, we are giving reference to substantiate your point. You are not just giving your opinion that condition of women was worse. And their answers last up to extreme words ni avoid shared. Okay, well, the negative in a particular critical aspect in a particular don't write miserable worse. And your answer should reflect some hope. Although the condition of women was miserable, it improved later on something at Ryach, okay. And the condition of women was not so not so good. Atla Rashna would have Okay. Extreme words Ras the you are you are completely documenting that it is definitely like that. But we don't know. It might be somewhat good also, somewhat bad also. Okay. Uh, try to be balanced while writing that. And of course, Hindus and Muslims they used to celebrate all the festivals together. Either it be Holi, Ramzan, or uh, Moharam, or uh, Deepavali, Dasara, etc. They used to celebrate together. So this also reflects the tolerance and, uh, you know, true spirit of brotherhood among the people living during the Kutub Shahi reign. So overall, overall, and overall Kutub Shahi era was a time of significant cultural and religious diversity in India. The religious tolerance, cultural pluralism promoted by E terms, chala manchi terms, tolerance, pluralism, fraternity, brotherhood, okay, true spirit, 
democratic values all these are very ideal terms to write the raj miranda slow so this created a unique and dynamic social and religious landscape that had a long lasting impact on the region of telangana and its people so this is about the answer deenlo me ke mana questions queries unte adagochu online students please do ask me yeah addan ki ganga dharudu somebody has replied here good akili saying that muharram celebrated by hindus too as pirla padu yes yes that's why i said both used to celebrate together any more doubts or queries you are having are you finding any difficulty in i mean any any lack of clarity in the questions or model answers etc if you are having anything please do suggest me i'll try to incorporate any suggestions uh, if required yes uday are you there today i try to be very punctual today as per your suggestion and i have taken your yesterday's suggestion also and i am incorporating it in the class today inke mana doubts na please online students you can ask me most of you have written uh, well today answers i am seeing in the telegram group bahar asar andaru you have mentioned the literary sources also okay so keep it up and continue this daily and if possible please attend the offline session to write the examination mm, sir can we expect specific questions on diamond trade and textile yes 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 this is the first question of kutub shai today tomorrow we will be continuing i am announcing here itself tomorrow we will be continuing with kutub shai period okay and and further topics okay and if possible tricks kuda cheppandi sir to remember tricks we can tell for prelims prelims aspect lo manam chaala cheppochu tricks jimmikul manam trimik lo prelims lo baa cheyachu but mains lo koncham it requires your own skills to write the answer and already nen cheptunna kada tricks in common introductions ekkada use cheyalo cheptna conclusions kuda i have told so if possible i will definitely tell okay yeah uh, yesterday somebody asked about oka uh, question ninna question okati unde what was the question stupas yeah somebody asked that stupas manam nagara style ani cheppi rayochu sir so the same question here you you said that you would clear yesterday's doubt on nagara nagara style okay usually temple architecture antene nagara dravida vesara manam use chestam stupas ki manam buddhist architecture ani use chestam we we use i do agree but akada enti ante the question was about the influence of nagara style of architecture okay buddhist architecture also derived some features of you know buddhist architecture also had some implicit features which are common to both nagara style and buddhist architecture also okay and buddhist stupas mostly sanchi gani sarnath gani north india region lo ekkuva stupas undevi so a influence din mid unda anedi ante it had its influence from buddhist to, uh, architecture in the form of stupas also and nagara also and ikkada manam separate categorize cheyacha cheyada anedi it's not clear ipo nagara style din only temple architecture ante temple ane use cheyala ante temple is a place of worship it can be buddhist temple also somebody some people call uh, buddhist place of worship as temple also okay so atla manam relate cheskunte kuda cheyachu but you need not storm your brain you need not waste your time by researching on this because simple clear one thing we are not doing any phd in ancient history or history or we are not doing any pg program we are just writing a daily answer okay manam rayocha rayodda ani ekko clarity lekapothe don't better don't write evaithe model answer lu unnayo evaithe mi standard text books unnayo lo unnayo avi rayandi direct saripothundi you need not waste your time by thinking about all these things hope i am clear shiva okay so tomorrow we will meet with the next discussion class repu to uh, topics for tomorrow again kutub shahis and the remaining topics of the section which i have given on the uh, two days before right in kemuna next what topics are there sorry ah okay velama nayaks etc inkedaithe 
నెక్స్ట్ పోర్షన్ ఉందో అది కూడా ఇంక్లూడ్ అవుతుంది అలాంగ్ విత్ కుతుబ్ షాయిస్ ఓకే యూ విల్ కంటిన్యూ విత్ ద నెక్స్ట్ క్లాస్ టుమారో థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ అండ్ హోప్ ఐ ఎమ్ ట్రైంగ్ టు క్లియర్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ డౌట్స్ ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ స్టిల్ హ్యావింగ్ సమ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఆర్ డౌట్స్ యూ కెన్ ఆల్వేస్ మెసేజ్ ఆన్ టెలిగ్రామ్ ఆర్ ఇన్ ద డిస్కషన్ క్లాస్ టుమారో థ్యాంక్ యూ స